Today I'm gonna to show you how to make super simple Instant Pot refried beans that you don't even need to soak. So start with your Instant Pot on saute mode and add three tablespoons of olive oil. Once that's nice and hot, you're gonna add one roughly chopped onion, one jalapeno, and four smashed garlic cloves. Then you'll go in with one heaping tablespoon of chicken base. Then we're gonna add some seasonings. Two teaspoons chili powder, two teaspoons cumin, one teaspoon each of onion powder and kosher salt. Now for the heat level, if you like it really spicy, include the ribs and the seeds from your jalapeno and it will be nice and spicy. Give this a good stir so that all of those seasonings coat all of the veggies down in the Instant Pot. Then you're gonna go in with four cups of chicken broth or chicken stock and one and a half cups of water. Now give that a really good stir and scrape up any bits that are stuck to the bottom of the Instant Pot. Now you're going to rinse and clean one pound of dried pinto beans and then add in one bay leaf. Give it one more stir, turn off your saute mode, pop that lid on, lock that seal vent in place, and then we're gonna set it to pressure cook, high pressure, normal heat for 50 minutes. Let that do its thing, then do a 15 minute natural release and then quick release the rest of the pressure. Now give everything a stir and you're gonna to wanna to fish out that bay leaf and discard that before we get onto pureeing your beans. Also, if when you cooked your beans, there was a layer of beans that didn't get down into the liquid, you can skim those off the top and take those out because they may still be a little bit hard. Now I went in with an immersion blender here, which is a great kitchen tool, but you could also transfer your beans and the liquid over to a blender and just blend them right up in a powerful blender. Now you can see we're gonna go in with a little bit of lime juice and that is just going to really bump up the flavor of your refried beans. So at this point, they're still a little bit soupy, but the nice thing about these beans is, this, is that they thicken up beautifully when they cool. So let them cool for a little bit and you'll have nice and thick and delicious refried beans for your dinner.